Okay, on this video, I will be talking about uh, watercolor. So, what exactly is uh, watercolor? Okay, so pay attention. Okay, watercolor basically is you add water to color. What? That's not enough. Fine, fine, fine. I'll go through every single thing about watercolor. Okay. So basically, watercolor is um, a medium, a transparent medium that uh, you, when you add water to it, it will create a soft, fluid uh, effect. Okay, that's the, that's the thing that is different from oil. Oil, you 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 basically paint. Oil basically is opaque, and you can paint from light to dark. Or from dark to light but for watercolor because it's transparent you have to start with a light color first the lighter color like yellow or orange or, or light blue or a low opacity of color means that more more water you add to it a thin uh, layer of color and then from there you build up layer by layer by using um, a darker color and a stronger color okay like what do you see on this um, urban sketching uh, 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 artwork okay so I start with uh, light uh, yellow or yellow ochre uh, orange on the building then I'll let it dry then after that I'll Add a stronger orange to the roof, to the to the windows, and um, and after that, I let it dry again, and I will add uh, the darkest color. Okay, this is how uh, watercolor works. So um, I will be uh, sharing with you all the art material you need to start painting uh, with uh, watercolor and I will show you the few basic uh, techniques to to start the uh, watercolor uh, of course I will doing a demo to combine all the techniques into one uh, painting on how you apply it how to use it Let's start with the art material that we need for watercolor. Firstly, we need uh, work some uh, watercolor and we need the uh, brushes and some papers, a color palettes, a container for water to wash your brush, some sponge to clean your brush, some pencil for sketching. For uh, watercolor, there's many uh, brands to choose from. And uh, I have settled with uh, Hobai Artist uh, Watercolor Brushes Wow, this is crazy This is a whole lot of uh, different shapes Hairs And uh, various of uh, sizes But I usually use 3 brushes Okay and, and that's all I need Watercolor paper Okay, basically break down to uh, 3 types of surface rough, cold press, and uh, hot pressed. So for hot press, is a smooth surface. So usually people use it for uh, more details work. And uh, rough is uh, to create more uh, texture of uh, brush stroke. The most popular one is uh, cold press because it's a balance of uh, texture and uh, uh, some amount of details. Always go for more than uh, 300 dsm, which is the thickness of the paper, because uh, you you uh, paper need to absorb uh, a lot of water when you paint with uh, watercolor. Okay, next is um, color palettes. You also come with a lot of uh, different shapes and uh, and types and sizes. Um, the one I am using, I have been using it for many years, and uh, I like it because uh, every slot of uh, a color. Is quite big and then the mixture the area for you to mix color is at the center 
and it is airtight container you can buy from an art shop or you can recycle your jar or, or even a plastic cup the one i'm using on the on the left i've been using it for for i think more than five years it is uh, from lock and lock it's airtight so you can uh, bring some water with it uh, for uh, plain air Okay, um, tissue or sponge this is for to uh, dry your brushes. Uh, for me, I'm just using this um, piece of uh, sponge that uh, there's no brand. I get it from a local art store called uh, Art Friends. Last item is pencil and eraser. This is for the sketching and uh, the guideline for your for the color. You can use a normal uh, pencil or technical pencil and um, try to use the HB one so that you won't leave a strong uh, pencil mark. Let's move on to the techniques. Uh, I will share with you the basic uh, techniques. The first one is uh, wet on wet. Basically, you uh, have a layer of uh, watercolor. When it's still wet, you apply another layer on top of uh, the first layer dry on wet basically you apply a thick color on top of a wet layer wet on dry this is when you apply another layer on top of the first layer that you did uh, just now after it dry so uh, because the watercolor is transparent it will sh you, you can still see the uh, some amount of color that uh, on the first layer dry brush basically use a lot of uh, color and less water to create the the rough uh, brush stroke okay I'm gonna do a demo to combine all these uh, four techniques into one uh, painting all right okay the reference photo is on the uh, right top corner is a snail okay now I am applying wet on wet okay a thin layer of uh, color this is usually the first stitch that uh, we apply a thin layer so um, you basically cover the the subject with a thin layer of uh, watercolor and this one you um, try not to focus so much on the detail all right so as you can see the um, wet on wet is applying uh, here try not to control so much on how the water flow on the paper just let it be that that is the unique uh, or the strength of uh, watercolor Okay, over here I'm applying um, dry on uh, wet okay this is when you want that area to be um, to be a strong color okay after the first layer has dry we will move on to the second layer so here the technique is uh, wet on dry okay because the first layer has completely dry, then you applying the second layer. From here, you will add thicker color, and then you will try to capture more detail.
Okay, over here I'm using a dry brush to uh, to suggest the the branch that the snail stand on. Okay, it's completed. I want you guys to try this with the reference photo and then uh, send it to my email and I will take a look whether you have done it correctly or not.